In today's video, I'm going over my three favorite business credit cards available today. As a business owner, you know the importance of having the right credit cards, especially if you want to get cash back, rewards, and other benefits. As a business owner, if you're not taking advantage of credit cards right now, especially some of the lucrative sign-on bonuses that the cards we're talking about today come with, then you're missing out on so much free money. So yeah, we'll go over my three favorite cards, the pros and cons, features, and why I think you guys should check them out. Let's get started. And if you guys do want to sign up for any of these credit cards, I'll leave some links down below. If you guys use those links, it'll help support the channel. So yeah, I do want to say thank you so much in advance. So the first credit card we're talking about today is the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited credit card. In my opinion, this is one of the best all around business cards you can get. And right now they also have a really great sign on bonus. There's also zero annual fee, which is amazing. Chase points are also great. I'm a huge fan of building up ultimate rewards points. And yeah, overall, this is one of my most used cards just because of that unlimited 1.5% cash back. So right now when you sign for this card, using the link down below, you do get 75,000 welcome points, which is worth well over $1,000. If you book correctly, 75,000 chase points should get you one way in business class from let's say Los Angeles to Sydney, Australia. And a flight like that is worth three, dollars $4,000. So it really depends on how you redeem your points. But yeah, this is pretty much an unheard of welcome bonus, especially for a card that does not have an annual fee. Now, like I said earlier, the reason why I think this is such a great everyday card is because you don't really need to track different categories. For a lot of cards out there, they have different percentage cash back based on the category that you're spending in. But for this card, it's just a flat 1.5%. They also have zero limits. So you can literally spend as much money on this card as you want and still get that 1.5x cash back. When you combine this card with the Chase Sapphire Reserve, which is an individual credit card, all your points will be 1.5 times more when you do redeem them from travel using the Chase Travel Portal. But yeah, if your business does a lot of miscellaneous and everyday spending that does not fall into a lot of categories, you really aren't going to get much better than 1.5x percent cash back. For example, if I'm buying expensive electronics, paying for services, buying furniture, anything that doesn't fall into a traditional category like travel or food, just like all the premium chase cards, it comes with a ton of different protection. For example, you get an auto rental collision damage waiver, you get trip insurance, travel and emergency assistance services, purchase protection, cell phone protection, and even extended warranty protection. If you have employees, you can also add employee cards at no additional cost. And you know, like I said earlier, this is a great everyday card. You will need to have good business credit to actually get approved for it. But I think most of you guys watching this video, you should be able to get approved for this card. I will say that for the $750 75,000 welcome bonus, uh, you do need to spend $6,000 within the first three months. So if you aren't able to do that, then you will miss out on that welcome bonus. And I'd say wait and only apply for this card when you can make that minimum spend. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that you get 1.5x cash back on everything. But right now they do have a special promo where you get 5% cash back on all your lift rides until I think 2025. So yeah, if you take a lot of ride share, then this is a great card to get a ton of points back. Overall, this is a fantastic card. It's one of my most used business cards and that's why I put it on this list. Okay, the next business card we're talking about today is the American Express Business Platinum card. This without a doubt is one of the most well-known cards out there. And when it comes to business credit cards, it's one of the most premier ones as well. I absolutely love this card. I think it's a great card for business owners. And plus, it looks super, super cool and super, super heavy as well. Right now, when you use the link down below to sign up, you get 120,000 points for the welcome bonus. But I will say that there is a high minimum spend for this card. You do need to spend $15,000 within the first three months to get that 120K point bonus. But yeah, this card is a very, very expensive card. Its annual fee is $695. So it's definitely one of the more expensive cards out there. But with that fee comes a lot of premium benefits. And if you can utilize those benefits, it makes this card extremely worthwhile. Some of those benefits include 35% points back when you use points to buy airfare, a $200 airline fee credit, free TSA pre-check or global entry. They have a ton of deals with different brands like Adobe and Dell. So you can get free credits if you have this card. You get free clear, which is really great if you travel a lot. And you also get access to the global lounge collection, which is a collection of 1300 plus different airport lounges worldwide. In terms of the points you get for spending money on this card, you get 5x points on flights and prepaid travel through the Amex travel portal. One point 5x points on certain categories, which include construction material, hardware suppliers, electronic goods retailers, software and cloud system providers, shipping providers, and also on purchases of $5,000 or more. The spending limit for this bonus 1.5x category is $2 million per year. And for everything else, you get 1x points back. When you have an Amex Platinum business, you also get free gold status with Marriott and Hilton. So if you travel a lot, that's definitely a great perk. And yeah, like I said earlier, there are so many perks that come with this card, but you do need to take advantage of them actively 
fee in order to get the most value from the card. Otherwise, that $695 annual fee, it's not going to make sense. But I will say that if you do take advantage of those benefits, it is completely worth it. So I think every business owner, they should at least have this card. And if not this card, then some other premium card that comes with all these types of benefits. Overall, this is a card that I'm gonna keep for a long time within my businesses, and that's why I included it on this list. Okay, so the next card we're talking about is the Chase Inc. Business Cash Credit Card. I also use this card a lot and for good reason. Right now, if you guys use the link down below to sign up, you can earn $750 or 75,000 points, and that's when you spend $6,000 within the first three months. And another great thing about this card that I absolutely love is that there is no annual fee. Now, you might be thinking, how is this card different than the other chase card we talked about well this one is a little bit more complex when it comes to spending categories but when done right you can actually get more in cash back so for example you get five percent cash back on the first 25k you spend at office supply stores and on internet cable and phone services most businesses they will have spending in these categories so it makes sense to put that spend on this card and after that you get two percent cash back on spending at gas stations as well as restaurants so for all your gas for your business car it's going to make sense to put that on this card. And same thing with restaurants, this beats out the 1.5 X cash back of the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card. Beyond that, for all other miscellaneous spending, you get 1% cash back. And then just like the other Chase card, you get 5% cash back on Lyft rides through March, 2025. If you also wanna add additional employee cards, those come at no charge for this particular card. A lot of people ask me why I don't recommend the Business Premier card as much. And the reason is because the points you earn within that card, you can't actually transfer to airline partners. So if you're using these points, points to travel and you want to do business in first class flights, that's not going to be the best card because those points are less flexible. But yeah, you got a lot of the same protections as with the other Chase uh, cards, collision damage insurance, you get cancellation insurance, purchase protection, cell phone protection, as well as extended warranty protection. So overall, this is a great everyday card as well, but I will say that there are some categories that you do need to keep track of. And so really the best thing to do is to have multiple business credit cards. Each card is going to be better for different types of spending. And so yeah, if you aren't afraid to track these categories, then for some of you guys watching this video, depending on where you like to spend your money, this card might actually get you more points than the Business Unlimited. But really, if you pair these two cards, you'll have 1.5x on all miscellaneous charges and then 2 or 5% on a bunch of different categories. So really, it depends on your business and your type of spending. Go through how much you spend in each of these categories and it's going to tell you which card is better for your current situation. But yeah, at some point, I do recommend getting all these cards. Anyways, those are my three favorite business credit cards as of right now in 2023. Hopefully you guys got some value from this video. Like I said earlier, I'm huge on credit cards. I think everyone should take advantage of what credit cards give us. You get to travel for free, you get a lot of free money back, and you get a lot of protection as well. Again, all the links to these cards are going to be down below. And yeah, if you found some value from this video, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe for more content just like this. On this channel, we do a ton of free guides and tutorials helping you start up your business. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.